Okay, let's dig into some pure sound snare wires. We have 12 models. I believe this is the entire catalog. So um, we're going to start with the Concert 12s and work our way up all the way to the Super 30. Um, yeah, so let's start with the Concert 12. So the Concert series, as you might expect, is designed for orchestral snare drums, but they sound great on drum set snares as well. There are two models. There is the 16 strand no, there's a there's a 12 strand and there's a 16 strand. Um, here's what they how they describe these. They're designed for snare drums. The concert series snare wire is crafted with strands of specially formulated stainless steel alloy for a subtle snare response that doesn't choke out the sound of the drum. These snares may be mounted by strap or string. If you look at these, they are the coils are a little bit looser than your kind of standard snappy snare. So let's check them out. And this is the concert 12. I should say I'm testing all of these on one of our Drum Factory Direct 5 millimeter thick steel snares. I've done all these wires on that exact same drum. A little bit more about that drum later, but you know, tuned every every time the drum is tuned exactly the same, I tensioned the wires just below the point where they start to choke, so it's consistent tension. So hopefully you're just hearing differences in sensitivity and density and sustained. Um, all right, let's go to my personal favorite is the Concert 16. I love that model wire, especially for recording. It may not be the best thing for gigging if you need to produce a lot of sound, but you, if you need controlled snare sound, which for me recording, oftentimes the last thing I want is more snare buzz or more snare sound in my recordings. These Concert 16s are really, really cool. So if you haven't tried those and you have a studio at home, you might want to give these a shot. They're also great on, on lower volume acoustic gigs, and obviously they're good for symphonic use as well. The next model, is also a 16 strand wire but it is a unique design they call this the equalizer series it's a 16 strand wire but it's on the end clip that would fit 20 strands and they just left four of the strands out of the middle it is designed for snare drums it is uh, it features medium gauge wire they're saying best for rock and funk i think theoretically they're the the concept is to not have wires going through the center of the bottom snare head which could theoretically choke the sound a little bit more. So it should be a little bit more open sound, but with controlled response. So let's check it out. This is the Equalizer 16 strand snare wire. All right, now we're going to move into the standard number of wires, which is 20. That seems to be the most standard these days, and Pure Sound has one, two, three, four, at least there's there's five models that we're checking out here. The first one is kind of the ground, you know, the, the baseline for their, their basic wires, which they call custom series, which has a nice, a nice high end, I think it's a phosphor bronze end plate. Medium gauge wires, evenly spaced. They have the tighter coils that are kind of more traditional for drum set drums. So this is kind of your baseline 20 strand custom series wire.
Next up is the Custom Pro series. This is also 20 strand steel. Custom Pro has a different end plate with, with creases towards the corners, which elevates the, the end plate off of the bottom head just a little bit. And they also come with a specially designed grow grain strap with a pin. So you can quite you can very easily pull the pin out and take the wires off if you need to change heads or change out the wires. So it's a quick, quick install, quicker install, and these elevated end clips. You know, what's it supposed to do? Let's find out. So this is the 20 strand custom pro steel. This model is a custom pro, but it has 20 brass wires. Can you hear a difference? Let's take a listen. Now we have a 20 strand blaster series. What is the difference with the blaster series? It looks like the end clips are a little bit smaller. Uh, possibly the coils are a little bit tighter. It's, you know, it, it's, it still has medium gauge wire. Um, they're designed according to D'Addario for increased snare presence. So this is the 20 strand blaster series. Here's the most unique 20 strand model that Pure Sound offers. This is the Twisted series. So this has technically 20 strands, but there are two wires coiled together for each strand. So I guess it's a 40 strand if you wanted to actually count the wires, but it looks like 20 strands as groups. So you've got a tight coil for each 20 that's comprised of two wires. Should obviously be, you know, a increased snare sound. Um, they're saying these snares equal strands at the highest sensitivity, even at lesser tensions. This is a cool one, so check out the 20 strand twisted series. Now we're moving up to the 24 strand wires. First up is the standard custom series 24 strand steel. Now we have the Custom Pro 24, which again has the elevated end clips and the special pin to allow you to quickly install the wires. And now here's the brass version of the Custom Pro 24 strand.
Okay, the biggest um, snare wire system that Pure Sound currently offers is the Super 30 series. 30, 30 strands. It is, again, it's medium gauge wire of tightly coiled snappy steel. Um, if you look at the end clip on these, there's a little bit of, of extra room on the end, so the, the, co the coils are maybe pushed together slightly tighter than on some of the other ones. But, you know, 30 strand, Super 30s. Let's check it out. All right, I know that was a lot of snare wire demos, but hopefully that kind of educated your ear a little bit about maybe which which number of wires and maybe some of these different types might be more appropriate for you. For me personally, the Concert 16s I'm using a lot in the studio. The custom, the regular custom 20s are my go-to for just all-purpose use. The um, I really like the blaster. I think it gives me just a little bit like a stronger snare sound without it rattling too much, which is cool. The Twisted 20 was really kind of neat. I like that extra density of snare sound. So yeah, and the Super 30 I think is wide enough to give you that you know longer bit of white noise, but not super rattly like a 42. So yeah, hopefully this helps you, educate you on some new purchases. If you want to try something unique, check out that equalizer. But we have all this stuff in stock at DrumFactorDirect.com. 